I'm going to try and keep this video nice and quick. This is a fairly cheap Chinese digital clock kit that I bought eh, a couple weeks ago. The only reason I'm recording a video on this clock is because I think it's a uh, good beginner kit. Buying a vintage Heath kit or other uh, kit clock is a very expensive proposition and the same goes for Heathkit's current offerings as well. This kit can be had for around five dollars shipped and even less in bulk directly from China. Since this is a cheap kit, you can't expect all that much to come with it, but three of the things that are essentially free are also not included. Namely a schematic, assembly instructions, and operating instructions. So I kinda had to figure all that out on my own. There aren't that many components on here, and uh, you can kind of figure out where things go just from you know, the markings on the board. I'm going to kind of pan around the uh, clock a little bit just to show you where things go. Like the uh, orientation of the transistor there. That little uh, resistor package there. It's a package of, I think, uh, eight or whatever uh, 1K resistors in one little unit. There's a little dot on the end of it, and that dot lines up with the square here. There's a little notch on the chip, and it lines up with the notch on the board. The uh, you know, plus on the beeper lines up with the plus on the board, so it's not too bad. I haven't bothered to trace out a schematic. This power supply board here on the back, that did not come with it. That is something I had built for another project and didn't end up using. That brings me to a fourth thing that was not explained in the... Uh, eBay listing for this little clock kit. The power source needed, or even the polarity of said power source. I found that out from looking up the microprocessor online and uh, seeing that it's rated for, if I'm remembering correctly, 3.3 to 6 volts or something like that. Based on that, what I figured was that this thing was intended to be run off of 5 volts so it could be run off of a USB power supply. This little power supply board uses a 7805 uh, voltage regulator which puts out 5 volts. So that was well suited to driving this little clock. And it's running off a 9 volt AC adapter. This clock draws about 40 milliamps, so the little heatsink here only gets maybe very slightly warm when it's been on for a while. You can probably get away without even a heatsink on there. I just taped it to a piece of cardboard to keep it from shorting out on an like a metal surface. So as you can see here though, this is the positive and then this is the negative here. You can see where I have the red and black wires going in. That's not marked on the board for some reason. Now to set the clock, you hold down this button here, the left one, until it beeps. Now this is the hours. It's 24 hour time only, unfortunately. B is the minutes, C is the function that took me a while to figure out what the heck it is, and I was finally able to get a hint from the bad English in the you know, eBay listing. This is a hourly chime function that chimes from, if I'm remembering correctly, 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. It doesn't just beep once, it beeps a few times, which is kind of annoying, so... When I had this set up earlier, I had that off. Next is alarm number one. You can't really tell a D from a zero on the seven segment display, but that's supposed to be a D. Now if you turn it off, the next settings, E and F, won't appear. So we'll just advance with it on. So E is the hours of the alarm. Set that to whatever you want from you know zero to twenty-three. And then F is the minutes of the alarm. G is alarm number two. Sets just like the alarm number one. And then H and I are the hours and minutes for that. If I switch it to off and then hit next, we'll be done with settings because the alarm is off and there's no reason to set the time. Now, the alarm has no snooze or any other functionality. It just beeps. Uh, I think five or six times and then shuts off. Not the best clock really. They could have put better features into the software. 
I mean, it doesn't take any additional hardware to make it so that this thing can display in 12 or 24 hour time, or to add a snooze functionality, or, or any of the other things you expect out of a standard alarm clock. But, for the price, which like I said is around $5, or even less if you buy them in bulk, it's a pretty good kit, I'd say. Thanks for watching.